It's your boy, Young Crowbar, and in today's video, I'll be talking about crowbarring in gaming. From the good, to the bad, and even the ugly. And there's plenty of games that have the enemies wielding crowbars. Games like Spider-Man on PS4. But we're not talking about those kinds of games. I don't want to beat people up that choose to use such a legendary weapon. Besides, that could be a video by itself. Today, we're talking about the kinds of games that will let you hold a crowbar, that will let you love the crowbar, that will let you become one with the crowbar ninja. First, I'm gonna go over some games I have personal experience with, and then I'll talk about some games that I've never played or even know shit about. In the game GTA 5, specifically online, you can get a crowbar, but you can't just walk into an ammunition store and purchase one with your hard-earned money. No, you have to like earn this crowbar. So there's like two or three ways to get it, but here's an easy way. You have to do this mission called Judging the Jerry, and you go to this specific location. You'll see this guy. You want to provoke him, so don't take him out right away. Bump into him or something, and then he'll pull out a crowbar. Now you can kill him, and then there's the crowbar. And now you have a crowbar. Rockstar knew what they were doing. They knew this crowbar was unique and special and just OP in many ways. So they make you work for this crowbar. Fortnite did a lot with crowbars, now that I think about it. There's several different crowbars in the game. You got the crowbar, gold crow, bold bar, thud thumper. I'm about to share some pro strats with you. The crowbar is the best harvesting tool in the game. I swear you can harvest anything with it. Like a tree, an ollie huge rock, a castle wall, and even other players. Yakuza Like a Dragon was a pretty dope game and could have easily been a 10 out of 10 if the crowbar wasn't so poorly utilized. For starters, only Koichi can use it, and to make things worse, he had to set his job as a fucking cop, which doesn't even make sense because crowbars are literally the most fucked 12 weapon there is. When have you ever seen a freaking cop with a crowbar? Only criminals use crowbars. Well, now that I think about it, I guess it makes sense. But once you get over the humility of setting his job to police officer, the crowbar is just useless because the stats are so poor, and it's one of the only weapons that can't even be upgraded. You can literally upgrade a fucking champagne bottle, but not a weapon that carries mass destruction. But anyways, let's see the crowbar in action, I guess. Let's see his basic attack. Eh. Let's see what the beatdown looks like. Eh. Why does it just swing at once? Let me try heavy beatdown. Okay, swing, 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 and then the kick. Okay, that's a lot of swings. I like that. I like that a lot. There's a fighting game called Injustice, and I'm so thankful that out of all the pussies in this game, it is the Joker that wields a crowbar. Who the fuck knew Joker was such a crowbar master? And he has three or four moves that just specifically uses the crowbar. And I mean, he swings that motherfucker around. Now what can you expect from the second Injustice? Something not as great because he only has one move that uses the crowbar and it's just a copy paste from the first game and It's not even the one move that looked the dopest and I'm talking about the one move where he's just swinging around, around uncontrollably until it seems like the guy you're fighting ain't even breathing Joker also made an appearance in Mortal Kombat 11, but they replaced his crowbar with a shitty ass cane This brutality would be so dope if he were using a crowbar instead why do crowbars always get the worst end of a bar? Before I move on to the next game, I just want to talk about the speculation going around saying that Joker is coming to multiverses pretty soon. And I don't care if that's true or not. I just want to hope that he wields a crowbar in some way, because I really need a crowbar in a platform fighting game. Like, my life kind of depends on it. Manifested. So to the one developer of multiverses that is watching this video right now, Make it happen, bud. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. It's time I talk a little about games I never played before, so the rest of the gameplay footage used in this video isn't mine. Half-Life is one of those games that everyone praises as if it's the best game ever since Ape Escape 3. But to be honest, I don't know anything about it. I believe a crowbar is your main weapon throughout the game, but I'm only assuming that because every time I see a picture of the main guy from the game, he's always wielding a crowbar. I wanted Gorgon Freeman to come to Smash Bros, but only so we can get the representation that matters. And that's crowbars. But back to the gameplay, the only thing I know about this game is that you can destroy a tank with a crowbar. And I tell you what, that's pretty realistic if you ask me. Manhunt 2 is a pretty graphic video game. I'm talking about Manhunt 2. The sequel to Manhunt 1. Now, I don't know if there's crowbars in the first Manhunt, but I am aware of crowbars in the sequel. YouTube is a bit of a pussy, so I'm gonna have to put the footage in black and white, or else I risk my video getting removed. 
Each weapon in this game has three levels of kills. I hope that makes sense. Anyways, the first level is hasty. Just a quick stab to the back. Okay, and that's it. That's level one. And that's pretty gruesome for level one. Apparently, it's just going to get more gruesome. The second level being violent. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Yee, that was pretty bad. That was pretty fucking bad. Okay, gruesome. Ironic, because I used that word earlier, not even knowing that's what the third level was called. Stab to the back of the neck. Stabs, stab, stabs, you know, repeatedly. To be honest, I feel like the second level is more gruesome than the gruesome level. I mean, it's not bad. Pretty good. It's pretty good. I forgot to mention, each weapon also has a jumping kill. So if you jump off of something, you get a specific kill with that weapon. Don't! Oh, it's just like the second level. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Brain matter everywhere. It's almost like they knew the second level was the most gruesome, and that's why they went the gruesome route with the jumping level. As a crowbar master, I would say they utilized the crowbar in a pretty unique way especially compared to all the other examples. And I would say talking about Manhunt 2 would be the best way to end this video. But hey, the journey isn't over yet. I know there's plenty more video games out there that let you wield a crowbar. So feel free to leave some comments for part two. Out with the bang and the fish and meme. Suck a dick with some things. If you like what you see, you can be my next sub and jingle my bell. Stupid ass bitch, let a buy what I sell. Read a crowbar gang and it's crowbar.